To start making your floral crown, you can choose an assortment of flowers. Big, small, bright, or shabby. I got my flowers from my local grocery store that were already bundled pre-packaged, so I was able to choose a variety of flowers, big, small, without breaking the bank. To assemble your crown, you will need floral tape, floral wire, and wire cutters, and this is great if you're using fake flowers or else you can use scissors. You're going to take your wire and wrap it around your head about two or three times to create a thick base for your flowers that fits your head. Once measured, you can either use sharp scissors or wire cutters to trim the wire. I then just take the wire and twist it together to create a more sturdy base. So as far as the arrangement of flowers, you can go wild and get totally creative. Using your scissors or floral wires, you're going to want to cut about 2 inches from the flower. And from here, you're going to select a variety of about two to three different flowers to create clusters. Using a piece of floral tape, you're going to gently pull on the tape. This helps create a stickiness, and you're going to start wrapping it around the stems of your cluster. You're going to continue making clusters, and these clusters can change in color and size every time. Just have fun with it. I like to arrange big, bright flowers with really small ones. I find it just gives it a really cool dimensional effect. And you're just going to continue this process by selecting different flowers and making all different types of clusters. So at the end, you should have a variety of clusters ready to assemble onto your crown. You can play with the arrangement of your clusters to see how you would like the flowers to look on your crown. You can place big clusters next to small clusters to create that dimensional effect I was mentioning, or you can create all big clusters in the front and possibly small flowers in the back. Just get totally creative and pick an arrangement that fits your personality and works for you. To start assembling, you're going to take one cluster facing outwards and then take a piece of floral tape, wrapping the stem of the cluster onto your crown base, starting at the base and then taping downwards towards the end to secure it. You're going to continue this process with the rest of your flower clusters, placing them next to each other and continuing to seal the base of your stems onto the crown until you've reached all the way around or achieved the look that you want. guys, here is my finished floral crown. I definitely had a blast making it and it was so much fun picking out all the different flowers and arranging it. I swear I didn't take off my crown for like two days. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and like my crown and I will see you guys soon.